Hello everyone, this is Nisha Chauhan and you are watching Scienceaholic. In today's video, we are going to learn about the chapter number 5 of class 9th of biology. And the chapter name is the fundamental unit of life. And in this chapter, we are going to learn about the cell. What is cell? Why the cell is important? And why we are studying cell from first standard? So, in this video, we will cover this topic in four points. First point is introduction and definition of cell. Second, discovery of cell. Third, shape and size of cell. And the fourth, types of cell. So let's see what is cell. It is the structural and functional unit of life. Cell is termed as the structural unit of life as it provides structure to a body. So children, why we are calling cell as a structural unit? Because cell se hamari body ko structure milta hai, frame milta hai. That's why we are calling as a structural unit of life. Now what is the meaning of unit? Unit means a single, single cell. So now second, cell is considered as a functional unit as well. Why? Cell is also considered as a functional unit because every cell in our body has a particular function. This is the muscle cells. When muscle cells combine to form a tissue, tissue banta hai, this is the tissue and jab tissue combine hoti hai, to ek organ banta hai aur sari organ combine hoke hamari body banti hai and that is called organ system. So this is about cell. Cell is a single unit and so that is a body. So this way you can say cell is a structural and functional unit of a body because it provides structure to a body and it works as a functional unit of our body. So this way you can say that cell is a structural and functional unit. Now the discovery of cell, how the cell discovered? Discovered by the Robert Hooke in 1665. So discovered kisne kiya tha? Robert Hooke ne. And who discovery hui kaise thi? In 1665 the scientist Robert Hooke used a microscope to examine thin slice of a cork. Now what is cork? Cork is the outer covering of a bark. Kisi bhi plant ka jo tree ka jo bark hota hai, uski outer covering ko cork bolte hai. So usne kya kiya? Us covering ka ek slide prepare kiya and then usne observe kiya. Then what he has found? A tiny tiny room in the slide. So that tiny room it's called cell. And usko room, chote chote rooms ko cell kyu bolna pada? Because Latin word mein uh, chote chote rooms ko cell bola jata hai. So uske mind mein ek word aya, compartment, remanded, uh, him of small room. So he gave the name rooms, the name cell. To usne usko name de diya cell. So from there we are using cell. The plants Hook observed were actually dead. But jo usne observation kiya tha, jis plant ke upar kiya tha, wo dead bark thi, means kate hoa bark tha. And he was actually observing cell walls and empty cells. But actually what he was observing? Cell wall. Usne cell wall usko dekhna tha and uske andar jo empty spaces hoti hai cell ke andar wo observe kar raha tha. So this is the picture. This is the slide. Uh, isme aap dekh rahe hai chuti chuti cell honeycomb type ki cell dekh rahe hai. Aapko isko dekh kar aisa feel aara hai like it is a honeycomb, right? Usme aise chuti chuti cells hoti hai jahan pe honey store hota hai. Like that usko thoda sa ye feel aara tha dekh kar. So this is the single cell and usne cell wall dekhi and usme beech mein ek chota sa circle dekha and that circle is the nucleus of cell so it means every cell has a single nucleus inside in it and this is the liquid and this is the cell wall so this way he has found that cell has a small small room so this is the discovery of cell now let's see about shape and size of a cell cells vary in shape and size different different type ki cells hote hain some are very small some are large some are very large so small uh, and very tiny cells we can't see from our naked eyes hum apni aankhon se usse dekh nahi sakte so for that we need microscope microscope kya hota hai microscope is a instrument jisko hum tiny cheeze jo hum apni naked eyes se nahi dekh sakte hain un cheez ko magnified karke dikhate hain instrument ko usko bola jata hai microscope to uske liye hame microscope ki need hoti hai and cell kaise kaise hote hain they may be a oval shape oval shape ki ho sakte hain spherical ho sakte hain rectangular ho sakte hain spindle shaped ho sakte hain totally irregular like the nerve cell now you can see from here these are the different different types of stem cells now this is a muscle cells muscle cell thodi elongated form mein hoti hai and this is blood cell aise bun shape mein hote hain chote chote uh, shape mein and this is nerve cell this is the longest nerve cell lambi sabse lambi sabse long cell yehi hoti hai this is the cardiac heart jo hamare heart mein cells hote hain is type ki strand form mein hote hain and this is the liver cell circle circle chote chote 
एंड दिस इज इंटेस्टिनल सेल दीज आर द सेल जो थोड़े ऐसे ओवल शेप में दिखते हैं और ये विलाइज होते हैं इसके ऊपर सो दिस वे यू कैन से दैट सेल वेरी इन शेप्स एंड साइज न द साइज ऑफ सेल ऑल्सो वेरीज इन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म जैसे जैसे ऑर्गेनिज्म डिफरेंट होते हैं उसमें साइज सेल का साइज भी डिफरेंट होता है most of the cells are microscopic in size like red blood cell red blood cell we can't see and that is called rbc we can't see from our naked eyes hum naked eyes se usko nahi dekh sakte while some cells are fairly large like nerve cell and kuch cell itne bade hote hain ki usko hum easily apne eyes se dekh sakte hain like nerve cell because nerve cell is the largest cell right that we can see from our eyes so this way you can say that uh, cell has shapes and size now let's see द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेल ना अभी हम ऑर्गेनिज्म देखने वाले हैं जिसमें कितने नंबर ऑफ सेल्स होते हैं तो दर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म एक यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म होता है एक मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म होता है सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी अबाउट यूनी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट आर मेड अप ऑफ सिंगल सेल सिंगल सेल से बने हुए जो ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं एंड मे कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ होल ऑर्गेनिज्म पूरे ऑर्गेनिज्म में सिर्फ एक ही सेल होता है दैट टाइप ऑफ सेल इज कॉल्ड यूलीस यूनी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म ऐसा ऑर्गेनिज्म जिसमें एक ही सेल है फॉर द एग्जाम्पल अमीबा पैरामीशियम एंड बैक्टीरिया यूब्रीला दीज आर द सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यूनी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस इज द अमीबा एंड दिस यू हैव स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस पैरामीशियम इट्स लाइक अ स्लीपर शेप स्लीपर शेप में दिखता है ये यूग्लीना तो दीज आर द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यूली सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म इनमें एक ही सेल होता है दिस इज अ सिंगल सेल सिंगल सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म नाउ लेट्स सी अबाउट द मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म द ऑर्गेनिज्म विच आर कंपोज ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑफ सेल दैट अज्यूम्स फंक्शन इन अ कोऑर्डिनेटेड मैनर विद द डिफरेंट शेल्स specialized to perform a particular task in the body are names as a multicellular organism aise organism jisme different different type ke cells hote hain and un sare cells ka different function hota hai aur wo sare cells coordinate hote hain single form mein and that type of cells are called multicellular organism and that multicellular organism examples are plants human beings and animal This is plant. This is also a multicellular organism. Different type ki cells आपको मिलेंगे Human body, different type ki cells that we just discussed and you can see in this picture, muscle cells अलग होते हैं blood cells अलग होते हैं nerve cell different है cardiac cells, liver cells, intestinal cells. So these are the different different types of multicellular organism. Now you can see in uh, plant also uh, animals and human beings. So in animals also you can see different different types of multicellular. organism now i have a nugget bite for you nugget bite means it's a knowledge that uh, ostrich has the largest cell in it so ostrich ka jo egg hota hai wo sabse bada cell hai hamare human planet pe sabse bada jo cell hota hai wo ostrich ka egg hota hai because uh, hen ka jo egg hai that is also a multi, uh, unicellular cell wo bhi ek single cell hai bada sa dikhta hai but it doesn't mean that usme bahut sare cell hai wo ek single cell hai Now in this video I hope you all have learned and understood about the cell what is the importance what is the discovery so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe the channel thanks for watching bye for now